أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة من برنامجكم الوطني رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة أن نستضيف نخبة من رجال أعمال متميزة We have today our special businessman Mr. Suresh Singvi the owner of JMS Global General Trading LLC Mr. Suresh we would like to welcome you first in our show Thank you so much for taking the time and coming over I really appreciate the time that you have given me for this interview we would like you also to introduce yourself and also introduce for us JMS okay. from your side to our audience. Definitely. Uh, <coughs> well, you know, uh, JMS stands for uh, J JMS Global General Trading. LNC is the company. And uh, my partners in this business are Jackie's. Mm -hmm. Jackie's are one of the oldest companies in the region, uh, a company with a history of over 52 years. And they are my partners in business. Mm -hmm. And uh, this company, JMS Global General Trading, was started in April 2014. So mm -hmm. we have completed eight years. And uh, we are, uh, we have direct accounts with all the major suppliers, uh, brands like Samsung, Sony, Sharp, uh, Black & Decker, Philips, Bosch, Electrolux. Very rarely you'll find a company uh, which is so young. We are only eight years old. Mm -hmm which has so many brands. I, course, I can tell you yeah. in Dubai, even some of the biggest companies that you can come across, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I don't want to take names, but of you course, can yeah. see mm -hmm. none of them have got such brands that we have. I mean, uh, brands like Sony, Samsung. I mean, these are the most chosen brands. Philips in small appliances, there's no brand like that. Uh, Kenwood, DeLonghi, for that matter, you know, all these brands, uh, Bosch, it's a German uh, company. Yes very very popular in this region so you know over a period of time i've cultivated great relationship with the major principals and you can call me a veteran of this industry mm -hmm. uh, from 1993 to 2000 now we are in 2022 so basically 29 years experience i have in this industry so uh, i mean you don't have to go to a linkedin profile people just know about us they yeah. know about me because you know, it's a very small business that we are in and uh, people know us by name. Perfect. So, uh, Mr. Suresh, with all this experience that yeah. you have in this market and all this, let's say, years, yeah. eight years in business field and also the experience that you have, tell us more also about the services and products that right. you provide for the UAE market or even the outside market, uh, the global market. Yeah, unfortunately, you know what, <clears throat> we are in a uh, kind of business and we are only into exports. Mm -hmm. We are not allowed to sell anything in the local uh, market at all. What we do is we sell uh, to countries like uh, Singapore, Israel, Iraq, uh, you have uh, in uh, Egypt, Tanzania, Uganda, Kenya, you know, all over the world, we supply our products, including to countries like the USA, you know, I mean, and one of the reasons why people buy from us is we try to give globally the cheapest prices in the world. Mm -hmm. I am harping this because what happens is that there may be many people in this market who are very big, but when it comes to competitive pricing, they come to us and we have cultivated customers. I travel a lot, plus I have a team. So I have got a specialist in my team who does CIS markets. He's a Russian speaking person. I have another person who takes care of entire Africa. And we have another person who does other trading activities. Plus, I travel a lot and I come with an experience of 29 years in consumer electronics. Not too many people will have that kind of an experience. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I think uh, we, have, uh, we have been growing uh, very well. Uh, some of the years like COVID when the whole world was shocked, they were my best years of life. Uh, in terms of turnover and profitability and uh, we are very very bullish uh, on the road road ahead you know I mean so Dubai that way has been a tremendous place for entrepreneurs like me I came in 1993 I did not realize uh, that I would stay so long mm -hmm. because initially I was working for a company called Jumbo Electronics and uh, it was a three-year contract so my parents said that you know after three years you better come back but you know once you come here you would never, uh, you, you'll never like to leave this place yes, because A, sure. uh, it's a tax-free environment. It is a very business-friendly country and possibly the safest place on earth. I have traveled all over the world. I've, I, I, uh, business takes me everywhere, sometimes to meet my principals for conferences and to meet my customers. 
but you feel so secure that even a lady can travel at three in the night and yeah. come home. Nobody will even look at you. So this so is sure. what uh, makes it such a special place that uh, you know businesses thrive because of safety. Second thing is connectivity. Emirates has possibly the best connectivity in the world, and uh, we are so well placed geographically that it is easy to travel. Even customers find it very easy to travel. So you know all these things put together has made. UAE is such a special place. It's a small country on the globe, but it's actually doing a fantastic job in terms of business because we are entrepreneurs. I'm not one of the biggest ones around, but even then, I see great opportunities uh, uh, in the years ahead. In the UAE, of course. So, with all this competition here in the UAE, as you said, the market is really big here in Dubai. Absolutely. So, uh, you need to have something special that makes a difference. With yeah, there the are two things that is very important in any business. I mean, not just consumer electronics. I think one is integrity. Mm -hmm. For example, you have to stick to commitments. Many a time, I give a price. If I have given a price which is lower than my buying price, mm -hmm. if I issue an invoice and for some reason the price is lower than what I actually bought, I honor it. So most mm -hmm. important is commitment, you know. Losing trust of a customer, whether he is based in Dubai or overseas, is the last thing one should do. It takes mm -hmm. a lifetime to build a customer relationship, but it mm -hmm. takes one act of yours to lose it. Yes. So we are very careful that we do not betray the trust of our customers. Anybody who does business with me is assured that we give them the right product. We will never give them any product with a torn carton or, you know, damaged, mm -hmm. you know, because what happens is they make the payment to us. They send a telegraphic transfer mm -hmm. to us, a so, payment, advance yeah. payment. I work on 100% advance payment. So, you know, I can do anything, you know, I have the license, but then that's the end of the road. So what yes, we do is, course, yeah, yeah. so we, we do all our shipments from Jabal Ali and my warehouse team has got strict instructions that, you know, please tell me. If there is something that is damaged, torn, please do not load in the container. The product should go as absolutely new. 100% yeah, perfectly. Yeah, absolutely. From I inside mean, and outside. So, first is reliability. Trust is very important. And second thing is pricing. Mm -hmm. You know, in our kind of business, we work on very low margin and high volume. And if the prices are not right, you're not in the game. Mm -hmm. And with all this, these years of experience that I have uh, in consumer electronics, I ensure that wherever whatever I do, I unless I am the cheapest in that particular brand, I don't sell. Oh. So, so I'm very careful. So there are people who are bigger than me in the market, but possibly I'm not exaggerating. I would be one of the most aggressive in the market. Uh -huh. Yeah. MashaAllah, Mr. Suresh. <laughs> this of is, course, this is, the, this is because of the experience that you have here yeah. in the market, in UAE market. We need also an advice right. from you as a businessman here in the UAE for those New budding entrepreneurs. Yeah, so. for new investors that are willing to invest, especially the young people that are, or that are always afraid of taking the risk of investing. I, I will give you a classic case. Uh, during COVID, uh, the maximum number of people who came were from all, all, all parts of the world. A yeah. uh, lot of people came from India, they came from Lebanon, mm -hmm. they came from Syria. They came from all over the world, Singapore. I mean, I've known people who have moved from Singapore to Dubai and made Dubai the base. The reason is, first thing is that this place is fantastic in terms of safety and concern for uh, businessmen and humans as such. Everybody in Dubai has got a COVID shot. I think in terms of vaccination rates, we are the highest in the world. Yeah, We have more than 100% in the sense, uh, you know, people have more than two shots or three shots. Yes. So if you take that into account, it is more, more than, than 100%, 100%, more than 100%. So this is again a sign. I'm just telling young people because when I came in 1993, I never realized what I was getting into. So although India is my first home, I consider UAE is my first home now. I've lived here for 29 years and uh, I'll Inshallah, stay here as long as I can. Inshallah. Till, Inshallah. Till my, Why not? Till, till my body <laughs> says that, you know, you're fit to work. After and a long live. time, of course, yeah. Inshallah. So, what I'm trying to say is that, A, this is a lovely place uh, for work. And any business that you, I'm talking of consumer electronics. You could be in foodstuffs. You could be in any industry. You know, I've seen people come here. Uh, I've seen people who have come with $100, $200 in their pocket and become multimillionaires. A, it's, a, it's got a tax-free environment. There is no taxation on your personal income, number two. 
second thing is safety and third is you know connectivity connectivity mm -hmm. is very very important jabal ali has a very good port and it's uh, you know very easy to clear your containers and do shipments so what we do is we don't get anything in dubai all our shipments are in uh, jabal uh, are mm -hmm. executed from jabal ali we export all over the world so in terms of the infrastructure that dubai has provided or uae in general has provided is possibly second to none so yes. this is one of the reasons i would strongly encourage anybody who's watching this channel and you know they can always reach out to me for advice if if that is of any use but what i am trying to say is i'm talking from the heart from my personal experience there's no place on earth like dubai perfect so mr suresh with all this experience with all this 20 29 years here yes, in yes. dubai and starting the own business in 2014 yes so what's your goal what's your next step i actually you know i mean this is the only business that i know of but i see so many opportunities maybe in uh, in years to come i might diversify into other activities i have not mm -hmm. thought of but for the moment it's only consumer electronics and home appliances mm -hmm. perfect so before we end our interview we'd sure. like to thank you for being with us thank and you so much like sir thank you to know how can we reach and contact jms global jewelry yeah uh, we are, we are <laughs> available on the website plus my contact details are there any budding entrepreneur or anybody uh, wanting to get in touch can directly get in touch with me and i'll be more than willing to help them in anything mm -hmm. you know even if it is not related to consumer electronics just you know they can come and have a cup of coffee with me i can share my experiences and help them wherever i uh, in in whatever way it is possible thank you again uh, mr suresh it was really an honor meeting such a gentleman like you today here thank in dubai thank you so much sir uh, my dear viewers we had today our special businessman mr suresh you can watch us each friday and saturday on your channel abc arabia tv channel دمتم بخير وفي امان الله ثانك يو مستر سوري ثانك يو سو ماتش ثانكس ا لوت